iPhone 16 Review Roundup, the gap with the Pro models is less than ever this year. The iPhone 16 was launched this September with many major display and camera upgrades, and the tech community cannot help but compare the new series with the previous generation and evaluate the distinctions placed between the standard and Pro models. While Apple has brought some noteworthy changes, it seems that the disparity between the standard and flagship models is less than ever iPhone 16 reviews are out and highlight the reduced gap between the standard model and the Pro models The camera control button is one of the most selling camera functionalities added this time around to the iPhone 16 lineup, but it is a feature available on all four models. Similarly, the iPhone 16 also shares the same 48MP ultra-wide lens with the Pro models, which marks more or less the same camera upgrades. The A18 is also as capable as the A18 Pro processor, leaving users wondering if there are any major distinctions between the two. The iPhone 16 review roundup is here, and we see the tech reporters being of the same view, which is that the iPhone 16 and the Pro models do not feature any striking differences. We will be going through some of the reviews to help understand where the iPhone 16 model stands this year. Tech Radar Jacob Crawl of Tech Radar highlights the lines between the standard and pro models getting increasingly blurred with time but vouches for the camera control button and the enhancement in functionality it brings forward. The line between standard iPhones and pro models is getting increasingly blurred, as the base iPhone 16 is now a powerful pick that mixes affordability with a lot of newness. The range of available colors, including some strikingly vibrant options make a great first impression, and the speed of Apple's A18 platform, combined with two excellent cameras and an entirely new camera control button, make the iPhone 16 a great choice for folks who don't need to go pro. The cameras are similar to the iPhone 1. 5s, but the real reason to upgrade would be for the new camera control button if you're into content creation. It's a major enhancement and lets you easily capture photos or record videos while intuitively adjusting settings along the way, just be ready to have to practice the difference between a light and a heavy touch on the technology filled button. Err, control. The Verge Alice and Johnson part of the Verge's team suggests that the standard models have been paid less heed to in the past few years, but that has been changed with the new iPhone 16 models as the gap between the functionality of the Pro model and the iPhone 16 has been reduced. Over the past few years, Apple's standard iPhone looked a little neglected. The Pro models got new chipsets, camera features, and a customizable action button, while the standard models may do with the leftovers. But this year, things are different, the iPhone 16 and 16 Plus played catch-up, and the gap between these phones and the Pro models isn't as wide as it once was. I also have mixed feelings about the camera control boy. Do I love a button? But in practice, I find it hard to use and have largely been ignoring it the mechanism feels too stiff to me, and no matter how hard I try to support the phone, I end up shaking the whole device every time I take a picture. And if I linger on that white breast too long, I end up changing the exposure compensation or some other setting inadvertently. I have to take my focus away from the moment and think about pressing a damn button, and at that point. What are we even doing here? Kinet Lisa Adesigo of Kinet has expressed excitement about the camera control button on the iPhone 16 base model and also the action button and how users would now be able to try to reference in new photographic styles. The camera control button and action button are the most significant changes on this year's standard iPhone. The real benefit behind camera control isn't the ability to launch the camera but the way you can easily swipe through differ. Int options and modes. It's easier to adjust settings while keeping your shot consistent since your finger isn't obscuring the screen, and you don't have to move your other hand to toggle between shooting modes you can cycle through different photographic styles when previewing a photo before pressing the shutter, which is a breeze with the camera control button, or you can apply an effect after the fact. It makes the old version of photographic styles feel limiting and basic by comparison. For someone like me who doesn't have a background in photography or video editing, it helped me create dramatic, striking images with little more than just the press of a button. I particularly liked the more dramatic looks, such as the vibrant option and the stark black and white choice. 
Mashhabul Kimberly Gedeon of Mashhabul is of the opinion that the iPhone 16 Plus is a better purchase than the iPhone 16 Pro due to the difference between the base model and the top tier versions being less noticeable. It is also state D that users would not feel FOMO if they did not buy the Pro model this time. As a Pro Max exclusivist, the entry level iPhone typically doesn't catch my eye. After all, who wants a puny little phone? I once thought. And the Plus was always the awkward middle child, often ignored for the base model or the top tier variant. However, my experience with these phones has changed my mind. For those who don't need pro level photo and video capture, I'd go as far as saying that the iPhone 16 Plus is a better buy than the iPhone 16 Pro, though not the iPhone 16 Pro Max, there's a new camera control button, a tougher display, improved zoom up to 2x, the inheritance of the action button, and three stunning new colors, ultramarine, pink, and teal. Oh, and Apple intelligence, too. Even if you don't care about eye, you'll eventually get a sense of FOMO while everyone is sending Genmoji to each other. GQ Robert Leadholm of GQ, in his iPhone 16 model review, is of the same viewpoint as the rest of the reviewers, SDH. He added pro-like features to the non-pro model seem to be a major upgrade this year. Last year's iPhone 15 was a genuine step up after a few fallow years, but the 16 takes things further with a bunch of pro-level features it had previously been missing out on. From its macro photography capabilities to the handy action button and significantly more powerful internals, there are a lot of small upgrades here that all add up to something significant this handset also benefits from an ultra-wide camera with bigger pixels and a faster aperture. Not only does this make for better shots in low light, but it also enables the formerly pro-exclusive macro photography on all iPhones. If you, like me, get a kick out of sticking a camera dangerously close to your subject, then you'll have a lot of fun with this upgrade. Most of the time it results in some unique photos with unexpected pops of color or texture, especially when married with Apple's new photographic styles that are better tuned to skin tones and creative whimsy. The iPhone 16 base model is said to carry many of the same features as the PR. A model, and the tech community at large believes that the distinction between the standard and pro models has been blurred this year. In addition to these publications, you can also check out video reviews of popular YouTubers, including MKPHD, Dave2D, Mrhozeth Boss, and Gadget Match. You can also check out the reviews for the iPhone 16 Pro model and find out what the reviewers think about the new flagship phones.